uh, here with a very cold Stuart Bordley. Um, I'm losing count now. Five wins in a row, Stuart. Six from seven. What do you reckon to tonight? No, no, no. Certainly wasn't vintage. Um, no, it was, it was a very, very hard fought um, performance but on a really difficult surface tonight. Um, I don't, you know, it's hard to be uh, that happy with a performance like that, if I'm brutally honest, because I, I don't really think we kind of got out of third gear. Um, but nevertheless, you know, they, they, they say, and, and far wiser people than me have said that, um, you know, teams, when they play, good teams, when they play bad, they still get results. And, and that's what we were able to do tonight without without really, um, really dominating large periods of the game or anything like that. Several supporters said the same on the way out, actually, that you you know, sign of a good team is when you, you play not the best game of the season by far, but you still win in a way at a tricky place. And, that's what you're doing it but lightning start to the game of course scoring after three minutes um disappointed to let them into it second first half of it yeah i mean it can always kind of work against you sometimes when you when you score early like that because mm. it can either settle you or it can it can make you a little bit complacent and that's what i think it did with us i think we got a little bit complacent for the next 10 minutes and and then a real sloppy goal you know a breakaway goal that um that we were disappointed um, to concede so yeah not not too pleased with that but but the lads really dug in you know I, I thought they, they worked incredibly hard um, on a really heavy pitch and, and really dug in and showed that they, they really want to do something this year and yeah. um, you know yes we lacked quality but for what we lacked in quality we, we more than made up for it in, in effort and endeavour and, and uh, work rate. Yeah, and as long as the second half went on, we were turning the screw. Maybe not as much as we have done in a lot of, especially the home games, but they were definitely still in control enough. And as I say, got the got the um, Joe White there in the right place at the right time. Yeah, I mean, we, we had lots of chances. You know, could have been two or three up at half time if, if if truth be known. But but again, we weren't, and and we are making it difficult um, for ourselves at times. Um, really pleased with the win. That's what we asked the lads for from you know from minute one and before the game that we just wanted them to go out there, work hard, grind out a result, and 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 that's what they did. So I can't fault. No, excellent. And of course, no rest this time of the season. That's what going to be eight or nine Tuesdays in a row. So you're going to have to make use of the squad. And I think you did that a bit tonight. Yeah, yeah. We we made a few changes tonight um, to try and sort of freshen things up. A few players looking tired, and and equally. You know, I don't see the squad that we have now. I don't see making changes as really weakening the side at all. Um, and, and I think that was evident tonight. Um, you know, with a with a strong bench um, and uh, good players on the pitch. You know, we've got a squad now that can, can we can rotate and we can rest players and we can try different things, which we did tonight with a different system. So, you know, I think that's important and will be important over the next few weeks as well. Yeah, there have been a lot of clubs who would like to be able to bring on a player like Henry Barley close to the end of the game, wouldn't they? There'd be a lot of clubs uh, yeah, quite jealous I'm, of that. We, we'd have liked to have not uh, had to bring him on, if, if I'm brutally honest right. with you. But, um, you know, we were at a point in the game where, where we needed just a little bit of invention and a little bit of magic. And, and, and as you know, Henry can provide that. So, you know, he came on, did well, um, as did, you know, Noel Atkins. You know, a long, long while he's been out... Um, you know, three months is a long while without football, and he's he's now back, back in training, back you know, make it making sort of. I think he played fifteen twenty minutes tonight, so that will be really important for him and his development over the next few weeks as well. Yeah, and um, straight back at it Saturday, home to Holbridge. We uh, it's probably one of our better performances, especially second half. Um, when we went down there in the season one for one, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Um, expecting a tougher game? Yeah, we did play very well at Holbridge earlier in the season. Um, it's always hard to know um, what you're going to face sometimes mm. um, when you play teams from in and around the London area because I came and watched Basildon 44 days ago, I think, and, and I think there's only two or three players left in their yeah, squad yeah. from that day. So it's always going to be difficult but yeah any game in this league is going to be a really tough game and we expect no different from Holbridge so we'll have to be um, you know uh, as as on it and as prepared as we have been for the last five or six so. Excellent okay well, congrats again tonight and uh, yeah we'll look forward to Saturday Thanks very much